welcome to Letterland Story Corner. Today's story is Red Robot and the Recycling by Lisa Holt. This little rascal is called Red Robot. He's a rascal because he's always running off with things that don't belong to him and that's not right. He gets very excited when he sees things that begin with his sound. He rolls his tongue and growls, Rrr. Can you hear him growling Rrr in words like rain, rice and river? One day, Red Robot was listening to the radio. He heard there was going to be a recycling competition. Red Robot wasn't really sure what recycling was or how to win a craft competition. So he ran around to Clever Cat's cottage to ask her. Clever Cat was out collecting carrots in her cottage garden. What are you doing? asked Red Robot. Oh, crumbs, she said. Some of my carrots have started to rot. They are rubbish, said Red Robot. No, said Clever Cat. They can go on my compost bin where they will rot away. I can use the compost on my garden next year. I'm always careful not to throw things away. You can compost lots of things. Cardboard, grass cuttings. Empty eggshells, Eddie exclaimed as he walked past doing his morning exercise. But Red Robot had already run off with some cardboard and a carrot from the top of Clever Cat's compost bin. What's he up to, she said crossly. Red Robot raced on until he heard a tinkling noise coming from behind a truck. He rolled round to see Talking Tess with a trolley full of tin cans. She was tipping them in the truck. What are you doing with all that rusty old rubbish? asked Red Robot. It's not just trash, said Tess. These tin cans can be turned into something else. It's tremendous! But when she turned back to her trolley, Red Robot had already reached in and taken a tin can. Troublemaker, she shouted as he rolled away. Further down the road, Red Robot saw Kicking King with a kit bag on his back. What's packed in that? asked Red Robot. I've been clearing out things I don't need to keep said the king. There are some old socks and a red blanket with a rip in it. It's a rag bag of rubbish, growled Red Robot. No, no, all this material can be kept and made into other things, said the king. But before Kicking King knew it, Red Robot had ripped off a rag of material and run off. Red Robot ran on to the docks where he found Oscar Orange on top of lots of plastic boxes. What are you doing on top of that rubbish? asked Red Robot. It's no rubbish, objected Oscar Orange. These plastic pots and boxes had olives in them, but now they can be used for something else. Red Robot spotted his opportunity and ran off with a really big plastic box and a red pot. That's not on! shouted Oscar Orange. Red Robot ran and ran until he had to rest on some rocks. While he rested, he realised he'd been a real rascal again running off with lots of things that did not belong to him. He had lots of random things. A tin can, a red pot, a plastic box, a rag, 
some card and even a carrot. He rubbed his head. I feel rotten, he said. Then all of a sudden he remembered the recycling competition on the radio that morning. Rather relieved, he realised that there was a reason he had run off with these random things. Red Robot rushed off to get rope and red paint. When the other letterlanders arrived at the rocks, the reason he had taken their recycling was revealed. It's ready, said Red Robot. My recycled rocket! <laughs>